This is problem 2.18 of the textbook Mechanical Vibration from Singularity Route, 6th edition. A heavy machine weighing 9,810 newtons is being lowered vertically down with a winch at a uniform velocity of 2 meters per second. The steel cable supporting the machine has a diameter of 0.01 meter. The winch is suddenly stopped when the steel cable length is 20 meters. We like to find the period and the amplitude of the ensuing vibration of the machine. We will do the free body diagram of the machine. So we have the weight and we will be measuring the displacement of the machine from the static equilibrium position. That means that the weight of the machine will cancel out with the static deflection of the cable. Therefore, I will not write the weight in the free body diagram. And I have the mass time acceleration of the machine. Therefore, is if I add forces in the y direction, I have the force of the spring equals to the mass time acceleration of the system. What is the force of the spring? We know that is the k equivalent of that cable times the displacement. Since the cable is a rod being pulled in tension, we know that the k equivalent is equals to the area times the young morus divided by the length. They tell us that the cable is made of steel and we know that the properties of the steel is that the young model is 207 gigapascals. We are given the diameter, which is 0 0.01 meter, and we are given the length, which is 20 meters. With those, we were able to calculate the constant of the spring, which means that the area will be pi r squared, times the young modulus, times to the 9 because it's gigapascal over 20. That gives me a value of 8, 12, 8, 8, 7, 1 newtons meter. We know that the weight of the machine is equals 9,810 9, newtons. Therefore, the mass will be the weight divided by the gravity. It will be 9,810 divided by 9.81. Therefore, the mass is equals to 1,000 kilograms. Now, our equation of motion, our equation of motion is mass times k equivalent x equals zero, therefore the natural frequency equals to the k equivalent over the mass. That will be equals to 812887.1 divided by 1000, square root of that. We have a natural frequency of 28.51 radians over second. This allows me to calculate the period, 2 over natural frequency. The period is equals to 0 0.22 sec. Now the response for a undamped system is equals to the amplitude cosine of omega nt minus a phase angle. The amplitude is defined as the initial position square plus the velocity over the natural frequency square. The phase angle is calculated as the, the inverse tangent of the velocity divided by the natural frequency, the initial position. We will take that we measure our system in the equilibrium position, therefore the initial position is equals to zero. And they tell us 
that the heavy machine is being lowered with a vertical velocity of two meters per second. So we will assume that is our initial velocity, therefore our initial conditions. So we can calculate the amplitude. This is equals to zero. And then the amplitude will be just velocity over omega n. The velocity is two meters over second and the natural frequency is 28.51. Therefore, the amplitude is equals to 0 0.07015 meters. And the phase angle, since this is equals to 0, the phase angle is equals to 0. That gives me a response of 0 0.07015 cosine of 28.51 and this is the solution of this problem